as Unamecano made strong promise about his interest for Biafran's struggle in detention. Manzi Unamecano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafran, has finally spoken and made his final promise and conclusion concerning his continuity in the struggle for Biafran's struggle. Manzi Unamecano have said that nothing whatsoever will ever stop him to carry on with the struggle. He said the DSS can go on with the torture, that he is ready to move on no matter what. He said that he has made up his mind for a very long time. He said that he has moved on for a very long time, even before this very detention. He said that he has given his whole mind and whole self to the Biafran struggle. He said he's ready to die, even if it means dying in detention. He called for a quick trial that no matter what, that he is ready to face whatever consequences this trial will bring to him. He said he has seen it coming, so it is no surprise. One of the DSS official who listened to Martin Amdekano's confession said this man is ready to be seen. Namdekano of the truth is a leader. He's a leader with a difference. If only Biafrans can see the spirit that boils inside him, they will know the sacrifice that he is making. Mazinam the Kano, speaking strongly, called on Biafran agitators, said that they should remain strong and full of life and confidence. He said he is ready to face the worst if that is what that calls for. He called on the IPOP members not to allow themselves to be deceived. That he knows that the Maridas are already on their way, causing confusion within them. He said they should not give in to their tricks because that is their antics, he claims. You see? You see? My dear viewers, all the while, all the while, this is what our government have been struggling for. They want Nandekano to change his mind. They want Nandekano to have a change of mind, a change of thought concerning the struggle for Biafran freedom. They want Nandekano to say, I surrender. <laughs> That's what they want. But they have failed. Nandekano kept surprising them, kept giving them a surprise package. A package that they themselves never expected. And I love it. Mm -hmm. That is it. That's how that's that what's supposed to happen. See, our government's plan is to make sure that Nam Khan is tortured to the extent of surrendering and giving up on Biafra struggle. And they are waiting patiently to see when that day is going to come. That is why they are intentionally, you know, moving the trial forward and, in, and um, increasing his stay in detention so that he will continue to be weak and weak and weak to the extent that he will no longer have any choice than to give up for the struggle. <laughs> but because the spirit of Biafra that is in him is the spirit of the Most High God. Instead of Unamikam to be getting weak, he is waxing stronger by the day. And that alone is what is now bringing fear into even the officials of the DSS. Yes, they said it. They said they are afraid. That they haven't seen this kind of person before. <laughs> what can be more interesting than this? I'm not surprised when I heard 
and listen to uh, Balarabe Musa, one of the uh, Northern Elder, saying that that how they wish they have someone like Nambe Kano, that the egos doesn't know what they what they have. This is that what Balarabe Musa said. That what he said. He said it outright that they don't know what they have. Mm -hmm. And it is true. The Igbos don't know what they have. The Southeast governors don't know what they have. They don't know. Because if they know, if they know and if they know the sacrifice that Unam the Canon is making for their sake, they would have given him the support a long time ago. Is it not uh, obvious or that is trying to make up for his sin. That's uh, the Ohanese Indigo president. He's trying to make up for his sins because he has seen the truth. He has heard the truth. His eyes are open. You understand? All the while he has been living in dark. That is how he feels. So he, he has no choice than to, you know, turn out through a support to Madison Kano. The last time, the, the, the last broadcast I did, that was uh, uh, last week, hope you also call on the Ohanese in the Igbos and the Igbo leaders. He said, the time has come for us to get Madison Kano released. Let all ends be on deck. Let's work for his release. He is our son and we, he needs our support and we must support him. But in that broadcast, I said, hope you all, your support for Namdekan is too late. Because you of all people, you, you, contributed to the extradition of Mazin Namdekan. Yes. I remember, before Namdekan was captured, I know the kind of evil statements you said. You even gave the Nigerian government ideas on how to capture Namdekan. On what to do. After doing all these things and capturing and you, you're now you're not saying that you are repented. Crazy. You are all deceivers and you all rot, rot in jail. Your days are numbered. Your days are numbered. That's why you all you're all dying one, one after the other. Look at how you all are dying despite all the money and the best hospitals that you will go to. If you don't die, your children will die, your relations will die, and all of that. Because of the evil things you people are doing, you will not succeed. You all will not succeed. Do you understand? Chuko Kike Apiama is already by the side of the iPods. Okay? That's by the way, anyway. Let me hear from you from the outside to know what you equally have to say. Please don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you